Sometimes constraints can be a helpful contributor to creativity. Today we're looking at a shoot from earlier this year that I was involved in and some of the challenges and opportunities that come with trying to tell a story through just one lens. My name's Sebastian and this is The Breakdown. Cool, so Harry from West Haven. This was actually one of the more exciting shoots that I've done. And it was actually through a good friend of mine, Jesse James, who pulled me in to help shoot some content with him with a couple of good mates and Helen Stein brothers. It was a beautiful day out on the water, early morning mission with plenty of fishing and beautiful scenes. Pictures we're looking at today, however, were the icing on the cake from the day. When I hopped off the boat, I just had this 90mm macro lens on me, which is a beautiful lens for portraits and close-up detail. Now, if you know the way that I shoot, I love working with craftspeople when getting close up and on the details, and this was no exception. I thought it'd be interesting to look at some of the challenges and opportunities when you're shooting with a 90mm macro lens. So shooting on a 90mm macro lens is great for close-up detail, but it's a little bit challenging to get some of those wider establishing shots. Also, working with Harry as he was filleting the fish meant that I couldn't repeat any shots as once he had done the action, he couldn't undo it. So as I was talking with Harry, part of my work was trying to capture the process of the filleting as well as holding his attention and being able to gain a bit of understanding as to how he came about becoming a fisherman down at the marina. Trying to make someone feel comfortable enough to share their story and get enough detail whilst you're taking pictures can be a challenge. So if you haven't had much experience in this, all I can say is practice, practice and practice. Some of the opportunities from working with the 90mm macro lens is that it's built for fine detail so you can get up close. You can get some of these beautiful details of the fish with the scales, detail in people's eyes with their portraits, working with their hands, so because we were down at the docks, I was also able to shoot through things, manoeuvre around things like the bridge and some of the poles that were about. And this method of shooting through something can sometimes emphasise that intimate moment of working through a process in detail, up close, and of course shooting at golden hour just before sunset. So you get that beautiful golden light, soft shadows, great for portraits, and just helps make those colours pop. This image in particular, the portrait is one of my favourites. Not being able to see his eyes as he holds the fish with the knife in hand. You get enough detail in the environment and the background but still see some hesitation. Some of these shots here as Harry's taking some of the scales off the fish are beautiful as well. Slowing the shutter down so that you can really emphasise some of the movement as he's working his hands across the fish. This image here is quite striking as well. Visceral and bold. Dark colours. It's one of my favourites. So I thought it'd be interesting just to go behind the scenes and unpack some of these shoots, whether it's for video or photography, ask some questions, look at some of the processes and equipment that's used. I try to plan on doing some more, so let me know how you found this one. Feel free to ask any questions and stay tuned for the next. <laughs>